Dear learner, now we learn about layout. So it is very important to learn about layout because when we'll go for work, then we need different types of layout for different types of work in Autodex robot. So if I go here and uh, you can see they have many types of layout. First of all, they have option like a structural a structure mode. Okay. So if we click here, then first of all, if we click here for geometry mode, okay. So if you click here, you will see every uh, geometric property or a geometric situation here. If we go, okay, okay, here uh, we'll get the geometric property. If you uh, see, you will get everything about geometry like a beam. Now actually to create a geometrical model what we need we'll get here then if we go properties you'll see this option have changed now by using this option let uh, for uh, support then uh, release then linear release member section everything will get here in property tab then if we go loads so when when we'll provide our asset load on our structure then we'll use this option okay and here uh, we have to define we have to add we have to delete every types of load then result tab okay so uh, then in result tab we'll get a uh, two option uh, to access result tab we have to analyze our model then we'll get this result tab then also they have another tab uh, steel design timber design rcc design okay so uh one by one we'll discuss about everything as per our requirement so i'll click here and then i'll go to our geometry tab to start again so uh, this was the way to access our layout tab now we we'll learn about mirror so sometime we need to create our object or we need to create a duplicate object so by using that mirror tab we can do it very easily so uh, to create mirror let's say uh, i will create mirror for uh, that portion only so from here sorry i'll skip from here i'll select uh that particular portion then i'll go here edit and here you'll see uh you will get two options one is horizontal mirror and another is vertical mirror so horizontal mirror means you will get that mirror in horizontal direction and you will get that mirror uh so if i uh tell you in easy way that uh this is the line okay so uh, we'll create a horizontal mirror here and here we'll create a vertical mirror here okay so let's say first of all i'll go for horizontal mirror now from this point how much distance away you want to create your mirror you have to specify that distance okay now this is the 40 40 distance distance of 40 feet now let's say i want a mirror uh it, it would create mirror at 50 feet distance okay in this distance so for that i need to create a mirror of for uh, five, i mean five feet away because from this point to the next uh our mirror point or our object point will be 10 feet so mirror will uh will place this mirror in midpoint then okay so here we have to place mirror and this point will be 45 also you can press here 45 let's say 45 and there are many options one is drag another is copy or move so if you want that you will mirror and also you will move this object then you can do it and if you want that no this object will remain in the previous position and i will create a new mirror or new object here then you can also do it 
so by clicking here simply if i click here a mirror will be created here so if i go ctrl z and if i press 45 here and if i click execute sorry we have to select object uh, ctrl z skip then ctrl z first of all we have to select the object so here i'll select the object then i'll go vertical mirror and here simply provide 45 and then click execute see in two way you can create that and now i will create a mirror in uh, right side so create a mirror in right side or left side you have to take a mirror for a uh, mirror of vertical mirror actually i'll close it let's say i'll create a mirror for it here in this position okay so to do it i will take vertical mirror that means our mirror will be now vertical now what is the distance between the two point what is the distance between this point to this point distance is here uh, 10 to 15 okay 10 to 15 so uh, so 25 10 to 25 here 25 and here mm, 10 okay so i want to create a mirror here that means we have a distance of 25 total distance 25 and now i need to create the middle point now see by uh, moving our mouse we are not able to find out the middle point of this point and this point so what i what we can do now i will click here i'll take mouse here and this is the position of 25 feet and now i will divide that distance by 2 so here total distance is 15 feet and if i divide that value with 2 then we'll get 7.5 it will be 7 like 15 divided by 2 7.5 then i will add this distance uh, sorry i will uh, minus this uh, value from this distance because in that side i will create a mirror in lower side distance of lower side then 25 minus 25 minus 7.5 so total distance will be 17.5 i'll copy it and simply paste it here then click execute see we have created our mirror in the exact location but for this side if you might create mirror uh, after uh, say here 35 and here 40 so our mirror will be created in 45 feet distance i will just click sorry select skip close it select then go vertical mirror click 45 and it will create here so this is the way to create our member and uh, by using mirror option and let's say i want to move this point completely as a mirror just simply click here and click here it will move again click here it will move so this is the way to uh, use the mirror option so thank you Thank you very much.